world. Okay, so here's just what happened in the past 20 minutes. I went to Walgreens and I bought Wasp and Hornet Killer because our house, those of you who know about our house, it is, you know, periodically gets infested by bees. Leo, there's bees! And so then today it culminated to a maximum and now they're on both sides of our house. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try to kill some of them because they keep coming into our house by our fireplace and they die on the windowsills. So we have like piles of literally probably about a hundred bees. I'm not exaggerating. I'll take the camera or the computer and show you in a second on our windowsill. So I go and it's like 20 feet jet of spray. Cool. I spray over there walk away I spray on the other side of the house walk away I come back and then the bees get angry because you know I'm killing them and so they start moving from where they are into the regular area of the backyard and I'm like that's cool I'm just gonna go back in no one decides what you're killing our hive I'm gonna attack you so Mr. B proceeds to attack me and in so doing is in my hair so I'm shaking my head, and the only defense I have is, what's that? Wasp and Hornet Killer. So in my panic, I do the only sensible thing, and proceed to spray my hair with Wasp and Hornet Killer. Spray my hair with Wasp and Hornet Killer. Spray my hair with Wasp and Hornet Killer. Now my hair wasn't up like this, it was down in a ponytail. So I begin spraying my head with wasp and hornet killer and then I come inside, I run in the house, I come inside and I can still hear it. And like in this process I flip my head upside down and my ponytail is hanging in front of my face and I see it dangling, caught in my curls, just fluttering around. It can't get me, it's stuck. So then I proceed to clap my hands, kill the bee, well I thought I killed the bee, it's still buzzing. So my ponytail's in front of my head, I get down the ground, take the edge of the can, and smush it while it is still connected to my hair. Yeah. So then after that happened, I run upstairs and I wash my hair to get the bee poison out of it. And yeah. And then I come back into our house, and back downstairs, and you know, assess the bee situation on the inside. And then I hear some buzzing around our windowsill, and then I get the other can of like raid and spray it, whatever. And then I see a new bee come out of the fireplace. That's how they've been getting into our house. We thought it was, but we would could never see them. So I have devised a plan to block the fireplace until the bee people can come on Tuesday. So we're gonna go take a look at what happened. So here's our fireplace. And as you can see, I've covered, put a board over it, and the organ bench is holding it up. And I took this can of Raid, and I sprayed the edges, just in case they decided to try to come back in. Um, and down here, there's a towel, because there's crevices that aren't quite covered. And then right here, hopefully you can see it, are all the dead bees. Yeah, that's one windowsill. One of them was still moving. I hope he's all down there on the carpet also. And then this windowsill. I hope you can see that. And yeah, so that was my last 20 minutes. I don't know how your last 20 minutes were, but you can leave a comment below telling me about your past 20 minutes because mine was way too exciting and I never want that to happen again. So enjoy you the rest of your Sunday before Memorial Day. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Spray my hair with Wasp and Hornet Killer.